Hello, all my lovely people. Thought I should let you know, up to date here. Uh, the reason there wasn't a part two, like extra, you know, US version of the flu jab is because over there, when I was there, uh, you had to pay for it. And uh, it was rather expensive, usually. And it was nowhere near as convenient as what you get here. So I thought it was just, there really wasn't that much to add. And uh, in hindsight, I, I don't feel like I, I like robbed you of any information, honestly, because in America, getting a flu jab or a flu shot is kind of like, it's not, it's just not done the same. I don't know how else to explain it. It's not as um, organized as well. Let me put it that way. It's a little more haphazard. The reason I'm doing this video is because I wanted to show you what I did with the cat. Now, if you remember the original cat, it was very boring. It had like, you know, this little, its body was all like a U, but like a straight U. It had no like um, abdomen. There was nothing, right? And its tail was really boring. And I was like, you know, I can make this cat better. So I did. And um, actually my partner last night, she's like, well, that's the reason why I got it for you because I thought it would be a cool project. And she's right, it was. So this is the other side. Now you can see I've fleshed out the tail because cats tend to puff up their tails when they're upset, uh, which is definitely the stance you have here, a fear stance, which is great. Um, not in a real cat though, preferably, you know, but poof up the tail here. And then I slip like scissors and I cut and, you know, emphasize the, the degrade right here. So it'd be a little smaller. And then the, the hackles are up here, right? And it's got, you know, an actual abdomen, right? It's got some body to it. But I also did the face. His actual eyes. Oh my gosh, his eyes. And I did whiskers. Now the whiskers got a little moved around. Sorry about that. But I did the whiskers by hand. I thought they were kind of cute. And of course, they're going to get moved as I move this little guy around, so you can imagine. But I gave it a little violet um, nose. And its ears are definitely like more pronounced points. And, you know, you can tell it's a cat. And, you know, it's a kind of uh, cat. And I also did a little necklace for it. See? That came off a zipper, I think of some jacket. I, do, I keep all the little, you know, extra metal bits and I don't know, it's pretty, uh, pretty snazzy. So now I actually have a Halloween Freddy cat that looks like a freaking cat. It looks like a cat. Isn't that cool? I'm so happy about this. Um, because I've discovered that putting in new eyes into things isn't as hard as you think. Um, I have blue eyes also, I had blue snake eyes, and they would have looked interesting as well, but I thought the yellow was a little bit more, um, a little bit more of a shock value, kind of like, oh, I'm awake, I'm here, you know, and uh, yeah, so, hello kitty kitty, this is going up in my window, I think, I'm not sure, what do you think, window, maybe, I don't know, but it's a cat, I'm happy, I have a cute fluffy kitty. And I'm a happy cat, so. Oh, that was a lot of fun putting together. And I'm still, you know, like working on other projects. You know, I'm constantly playing with felt and needle and thread and scissors and like, what can I put together? And then I want to draw. And then, you know, um, hopefully this month uh, when I get paid, um, I should be able to send my laptop in to see if I can possibly repair it. If I can, then that would be so wonderful because then I could do my videos on my laptop. I could work on um, my art, you know, on there as well. And I could get back on ESO online because I miss the Elder Scrolls online like crazy. There's nothing quite as much fun as jumping into like a delve and going in and killing, you know, monsters. I love it. It's so much fun. I mean, who doesn't like to do that, right? You can't really do it on the tablet. It's just not the same. Um, I Plus, I like running around chasing down giant dragons and monsters and world monsters. Oh, it was so fun. 
uh, funny story. Uh, I am a thief in the game, a master thief, I guess. Um, I don't know. I, I did all the challenges they, they asked you to do. Uh, and I love to pickpocket and all these, you know, horrible criminal things, which I would never do in real life. But, you know, like normal in a game, it turns me into a criminal. Um, and somebody IMs me in the game and they're like, you're really good at this. I'm like, well, thank you. Can you teach me how to steal things and how to pickpocket? And I'm, sure. I'm constantly happy to teach people things. Most of the time I get disappointed because, you know, they don't listen ultimately, or they just kind of, I don't know, I never see them again. And that's fine. You know, I guess it's cool. I, I don't know. I, I like to make friends and say hi every now and then. It's kind of cool. But yeah, he asked me for help. So I said, okay. So I, I set him up with a few things. I gave him some things that would help him and um, some weapons and, you know, things I thought might help him out. And I didn't need any more. And I do hold on to that stuff for a reason. Anyway, gave him all this stuff and I told him, all right, now, if you want, just message me. If you need something, let me know. And I didn't really think I'd hear back from him, honestly. Uh, a couple of days later, I get a message from him. He's like, well, there's this guy here. I can't kill it. I can't kill him. I don't know why. Um, but he keeps like just leveling me. I'm like, okay, um, well, I could try and help you. Sure. So I go there and um, I get there and it's a world boss. Two million health. And he's looking at me going, help me. I'm like, uh, dude, I might be level 700 something, but um, let's see. Myself and my partner were able to take down a million and a half beast. But that took a long time and it's wearing them down. You know, it's wearing them down, repetition, cycling, you know, and that's how you do it. At least that's how I've always done it. But <laughs> all like five levels of him is staring at me going, well, can we kill it? I'm like, no, uh, we're gonna need a group of people to come help us kill this thing. And he's like, okay, well, can we go do that? It's like, yeah, sure. So I called a few friends um, and yeah, we took him out. But by the time he'd seen how many people it took to take it out, I think he finally understood. <laughs> I hope, I don't know, but yeah, I miss games. I do, I miss games online. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying playing with different programs. I'm learning different things. It's constantly fun, you know? Uh, yeah, but I am really happy to just check in with you guys, see what's going on. Um, I, I honestly hope everybody's doing well and you're not sick, uh, because, uh, yeah, a couple of friends of mine have recently been taken ill, and, uh, so, yeah, life, reality, all that always comes back to get you, doesn't it, no matter what you do. All right, well, I went with bright pink lipstick, because I thought it would match the flowers, and it, it kind of does. I don't look half bad with lipstick on, you know? I like it. But again, it's a cheat. I don't wear lipstick in real life. There's no way. I'm too paranoid. I always think it's on my teeth, it's on my fingers, it's somewhere, you know, where it's not supposed to be. And then being so pale, it just stands out like a sore thumb. So yeah, I'm a little paranoid about lipstick. I don't think I can do that. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, and I am putting together more flowers and trying to do some more Halloween type theme stuff because this is my time of year, man. This is my time of year. It is. All right, well, this is the Rainbow Room. You know it, you're always welcome. Everybody ask me questions, anything you wanna know. You know, hit me back if you have any like uh, requests. Like if you want me to like make a certain kind of flower, um, I might actually be up to the challenge, you know, let me try it. Okay. Alrighty. Well, thank you. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.